Hello, people. Ugh. So at 9 a.m., well, it's later than 9 a.m., I just woke up. And I, I need to be way more responsible than what I, I have been doing. I'm waking up at like 11, 10 a.m. every day. That's some big problems. I have to change this. And now I have to shave, which is an awful stash is creating in my face. So I have to kill it. <laughs> I have the face of a baby, so I'm perfect. Now, now I now I can feel responsible in a better way. So I'm gonna eat a great breakfast with eggs. Three, two, one. Okay, now it's time to eat. Ugh. Sometimes, the easiest way to be responsible is just put in your gym shoes and go to the gym. That's it. No, no more questions asked. Just put in your shoes. When you go to the gym, you feel really good. You feel pumped. You feel energized. You feel like you exercised. So you accomplished one of the missions of the day. And other people share their energy into you. So if there's like a lot of ripped people in the gym, then that motivates you towards all the freaking day. When you don't feel like doing it much, and you want to feel responsible, and you go to the gym, other people share their energy towards you. So now you're contaminated with their energy, so you have to do stuff. There's no, there's no other option. You just do a lot of stuff. So that's really good about going to the gym. I saw one of the most fairy cats I have ever seen in my life here. It has to be in the car. And that that that's one of the most weird cats I have seen. Here it is. Here you go. That doesn't look like a normal cat. Oh, whoa. whoa. Shit. I, I was walking by, right, normally. And then I saw a cat, but this cat was not a normal cat, it was like a weird cat. And it kept looking at me, and then I saw him look like go under a car, but he, he continued looking at me, and this car, and this cat was like fairy. So it was, it was a long haired cat, which I didn't usually see a lot of them. And I don't know, it was just weird and it seemed like he wanted to attack me or something Which I think was quite... I don't know, I don't know, C cats are weird, cats are really weird Would never do something as weird as that cat, you know Dogs are just happy creatures And they're, you know, they're there to be happy and protect and give love and that's it Cats have a weird thing that I don't quite understand. I just came back from the gym. I'm, I'm, I'm screwed up. I'm fucked up. But I feel I feel really good. I feel really pumped. And I go to a gym in the middle of the city, which is always full with people putting like steroids. So all the ghetto people go there. All the super all the super ripped dudes. When the city goes there, well, half of the city goes there, it's always full. Right now it's 12 p.m. People should be eating and it's freaking full. But I feel way more responsible. So that's, that's one of the ways to start your responsibility, you know, just go to the gym. That's a really good way to start. Wake up early and go to the gym. If you do those two things, then the other things come back. If you do one thing right, then you're more likely to do other things right. So if you do two right things in the day, like waking up early and going to the gym, then the rest of the day doing easy th doing good things will be easier. I'm in a French dorm, which I find it quite amusing. Like university students live here. So it's like a dorm, but it's French. So I didn't know France had dorms. I thought that was like, an American thing, but 
Yeah, they're cool. They're like classical old buildings. They probably have a lot of history. And they have a park in the middle of the dorm. Students smoking, because that's what students do in France. They just smoke cigarettes, that's their thing. I don't know why, but he was watching trees. It's so freaking happy. It's like so calming. This feels so so relaxed when you watch a tree. Uh, okay, now that I get back in the gym, I have to actually be responsible, and I have to, yeah, I have to clean my, clean my room because it's a mess. I have to do my bed that I haven't done, and I need to take a shower. And I'm gonna put some something responsible. I'm gonna put like, a suit or something, even though I'm in my house. But when you when you dress responsible, everything else, you know, seems easier. I think. So I'm gonna dress nice as well. But, okay, something that may not seem that important, like doing your bed, can actually help you a lot with the responsibility that you should do during the day even though it's like 1 p.m. and I haven't done my bed yet but if I would have woken up earlier and you know this as soon as I wake up I do my bed that's a good start but little things like doing your bed and I know it's 1 p.m. it will not make a big difference now but at least when I get back home, well, I'm already home, when I have to sleep at night, if my bed is already done, that is good. Ah, oh, shit. I don't like doing this, but I have to. It's, it's not doing what you want to do, it's doing what you have to do. That's what counts. Holy fuck. Okay, right now, I smell bad, I haven't taken a good shower, I, I'm dirty, I, I have bad clothes, so I'm gonna take a quick shower. <laughs> okay, now I'm fresh, uh, it's time to work. <sighs> okay, well... Time to get serious again, time to work, time to get stuff done. I haven't done it in a long time. Time to do stuff. So, see you in probably two hours. Well, yeah, people. Well, to end up this video on responsibility. I have to be way more responsible this week because I haven't been responsible at all. And that is kind of a problem, you know? When you don't do... Well, when you're not responsible for 10 days and you wake up at 11 a.m. for 10 days, that's that may screw you over a bit because it takes a long time to get a good routine going. Like, it takes... It takes some days, probably even a couple, probably some weeks to get a really good rhythm going. But it takes two, three days to screw it all over. Or even one day. In one day you can screw up a routine that you had worked on for months or weeks. In one day it may all be over. Just because of that one day. And the other difficult thing about being responsible is that you have to do it every single day that's the thing every single day you have to be responsible but at the end of the day if being responsible is one day well if, if being responsible is really expensive being irresponsible at the end of the day will be way more expensive so even though it's difficult even though it's something that takes time and discipline and you need to get a rhythm going even though 
taking all of that into consideration, if you just let yourself go over, if you screw yourself up and you're really responsible for a long period of time, that will in the future create really, really bad consequences. So yeah, be responsible people and I will be way more responsible this future what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this future vacations. Yeah, see you. See you tomorrow. Bye.